Hey guys, Jeff here again. This is a doozy. This is a doozy. Okay, so I decided I didn't want to do a lot of repetitive coding as I went through the next section of uh, what I'm programming. I made a function. I'm very proud of this. I haven't done a function in a long, long time. So, so first thing you have to do when you make a function, all right, is create a create a um, uh, function declaration. That means you declare that you're going to make a function so that when you call it in the main function, it's like, it's like, what is this? It knows without actually knowing the function, right? So, so we did a declaration. Um, we called it in the, uh, I call it right here. Okay. Notice the parameters. Um, we'll go over those as I get the function set there, but 0, 0, 0, 10, 110, random 20, random 20, true, true. Okay. We're going to look here. <clears throat> so it sen you send in the start x, start y, and start z. You also send in the end x, end y, end z. Okay. Then you're sending in the texture x and the texture y. And then two booleans, which I added because I wanted to do some cool stuff here. Make missing and make random. Now they're both cool and I'll show you how they work. Um, there's an extra space there. My OCD. Delete that. All right, so get the size dimensions. I basically cut this code right out of the, where the initialization was, and I, I just molded it to what the to work with the function uh, parameters. So size x is now, of course, end x minus start x and blah 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 through that. Create block size for the hollow box. Okay, so the only difference to uh, this code is right here. If make random, so if that boolean is set when you call the function, it will select random textures. Otherwise, it will select the texture uh, parameter that you send in, which you know has to be between zero and twenty for x and zero and twenty for y, and that goes into the thing okay so otherwise it goes through pretty much nothing else changed except for the start so far variable that I was using to kind of make that little village um, <coughs> excuse me I saved that file this is a separate file again so I'm, I'm doing a whole nother uh, file because I wanted to save that stuff and so there's that and then this is the end right here this is the other boolean okay if make missing then I do this I had a little bit of trouble because I wanted this to work for every single uh, uh, cube that I send in, not just the first one, but this works for the first one. If make missing, it creates an iterator. It gets the beginning of the array. It loops through approximately a number that is a fifth the size of the, the array, and it selects a random one to delete. And so I set true and true on both of these. So this one is a random tower, as you will see in just a, a second. It's a randomly colored tower with blocks missing okay because I set both of those to true remember so let's let's just uh, take a screenshot of that real quick that might be the uh, thumbnail for the video and then you can just go up and get dizzy again as you go up okay <laughs> so yeah little random ones are missing and you can see that and it's really cool now and uh, I, this is one of my favorites this this random tower because it just looks really cool so I saved a copy of that and I started working on another whole file so I could mess it up and do whatever I wanted so anyways stay tuned for more I hope you enjoyed that one the creation of a function